Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a day in my life winter break edition. I'm a college freshman at San Diego State, home for college if you guys didn't know already. And I'm just gonna do a like typical fun day in my life. My mom and I just finished our workout at Orange Theory. It is now 8.30, we had a 7.20 class. It was so early, but really, really good. And yesterday, got our nails done, so I'm loving them. Very excited about that. We tried out a new place, and it was like, pretty good, but I kinda like our old place better. Anyways, right now we're on our way to our favorite coffee shop, and then I'm gonna go home, get ready, and paint out with some friends. I have a sorority Zoom call later, have to edit a video. So just, yeah, come along with me on my day. We just left the coffee shop. I wanted to go to Barnes & Noble's, but it's not even open until 10, so that's not happening. But yeah, I'm gonna go home, get ready. I got this like blow dryer brush thing. You guys would have seen in my, like, what I got for Christmas haul, my last, one of my last videos. Um, so I want to use that again today to do like a little blow out after I wash my hair. I think I'll have time, I'm pretty sure. I just have to leave by like 11.30, get gas, boring stuff. All right guys, so it's like 9.50. I just got out of the shower. I'm literally just wearing this like Madewell shirt and just some like random shorts. And I'm going to blow dry my hair, hopefully really quickly, and then do like a little blowout kind of situation. I did in fact forget to bring my camera back home from college and I forgot to bring my tripod, all of my camera equipment. So we're working with my phone. So this is the best tripod we're gonna get for now. I have an old broken tripod here, but even that doesn't even have like a phone attachment. So we're just working with it. To get a good blow out the products I'm gonna be using are this day um, styling cream. This stuff smells amazing. Then I also got this from TJ Maxx, this Southern Belle volume boosting root lifter it was only like twelve dollars which is crazy um but you're supposed to put this in when your hair is damp so it's damp right now obviously so i'm gonna try that out my favorite part about being home definitely is my tub of aquaphor <laughs> So I got ready. I like didn't show you guys, but blowing out my hair was a pretty much a success. The volume kind of is going down. I don't really know. Um, but uh, knowing me, I'm gonna run a little late. Stop to get some gas, and yeah, I'm gonna meet my friends for some lunch. Go to Mercer Pickles, favorite sandwiches. Except last time I was here, I got denied, or I got waitlisted from Cal Poly, so bringing up some old memories, but it's fine. And there was like a smoke fire thing last time I was here, so sketch. Or last time I went to this specific Mr. Pickles. I'm very excited for this. I'm gonna listen to either SOS or Ava Jewel's new podcast episode about like preparing for 2023. Cause even though it is January 3rd, I want some more tips, you know, preparing for the new year. And it's so hot in my car. So I'm gonna go out, I think, my gas is done. It was only $50, so I'm very happy about that. So slay. So I am 10 minutes late, but I got here safely and I have driving anxiety. So getting here at all is awesome. And yes, did I get a Stanley? Is it in cream? Yes, my best friend got it for me and I'm obsessed. It is my new personality trait that my mom got one. I'm just out here influencing everyone, but yeah, I'm gonna get out and then, it's lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Outside. Outside. I look in this lighting, my hair looks puffy. <laughs> it will be part of my funnel. Guys, go to Ulta and smell this. It smells so good. Wait, I'm gonna buy it, it, but it's like $20. What is it? Perfume? It's like Willow Bow. I think it's okay. Like, this is not like anything. What? Are you sick? It's no, it's just like very faint. Thank you. Look at that. I'm happy now. Bye. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, look, I'm getting maybe this and then white eyeliner, color pop, flexinator, and then eyebrow. Eyebrow and eyelash serum. And then look at my hand, it's covered in highlight. 
but yeah. I'm literally, okay guys, I'm currently on my way home. I have a sorority call, but um, I don't really have plans for the rest of the night, so we'll see where the night just takes us. All right guys, so I just finished my sorority Zoom, and I just wanna give a quick little OOTD. So my sweatshirt is from Moody Vintage in San Francisco, and my leggings are these really, really cute Lululemon ones. They're the aligned mini flares, I believe, and then my shoes are just Air Forces. And then underneath this, I'm wearing just like a long sleeve from Madewell. Yeah, guys, I think I showed you at Ulta like what I ended up getting, but I also got these pants from Goodwill. I, to be honest, did not try them on. I just really did not feel like it. But I do need to wash them. They're just like pinstripe pants from Banana Republic. They were $6, so I just figured why not. And I need stuff for formal meetings. So I'm gonna wash those. I'm very excited about that purchase. I'm just changing them to like, I mean, I'm in comfy clothes, but I'm just gonna change to like, maybe pajamas to be honest, even though it's only like six, but I just wanna be not in outside clothes. So let's do that. Also guys, yesterday when I got those leggings, I also got this really, really cute top from Viore. I am so obsessed. And I just changed into this little like PJ set kind of situation from PJ Salvage. And now I'm gonna have some dinner and watch a million pairs. Guys, so it is the next day. It is about two o'clock and sorry about the bad lighting. There is literally like a crazy like storm system moving through where I live. So that's super great. And there's like these crazy winds, so I've not left my house like all day. I am now going to go edit my YouTube video, but before I do that, I just wanted to like talk and give a little update. I I have not put out my resolutions video yet, but one of my resolutions was to kind of like reinstate social media list days every week. I originally, I think last year, I said I was gonna do social media list Mondays, but what I failed to realize is that doing it on Sundays, which is like my least busy day of the entire week usually, and like after getting to college and stuff, I just stopped doing that habit. I would go on social media all the time, and so I just broke that habit. So I decided to move my social media list day to Monday, and I think that's gonna work a lot better for me just because I'll have like schoolwork to do, I'll have my chapter meeting, I'll have things like to keep me busy so like I won't be tempted to really go on my phone as much. And I think it's really been working. I've only done one so far. Obviously I'm still at home. Today's Wednesday, I did one on Monday. And then yesterday I didn't go on TikTok until like 6 p.m. And then today I didn't go on TikTok until like just a few minutes ago. So I feel like it's really been working and it's really gonna bring my like social media usage down. So I'm really hopeful that my social media list Mondays will continue for the rest of the year. And I keep seeing these TikToks that are saying like, they're talking about like the lucky girl syndrome. If you haven't seen them, just go look any of them up. And that is also one of my goals for the new year. I just like to practice that and really work on manifesting more in my life. Yeah, seriously, I really believe affirmations work, visions boards work. I make digital vision boards all the time and seriously, it's crazy. If you like put a thought into your head and you make a plan, like you can seriously make something that you want into reality, which I think is so amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna go work on my video, get off my phone, get off my iPad and do some more. <laughs>